Google is about to dominate the AI space. They just announced a partnership with DeepMind and they're calling it Google DeepMind. Now, if you have no idea what DeepMind is, do not worry. I will tell you all of the background on why this is such a big deal. Now, for people who already know DeepMind, then you know you get the hype. So this is announced on the official DeepMind website and Basically, quick background, DeepMind was launched back in 2010 by some very smart people. And there's a lot of actual researchers in other spaces, former DeepMind members that are helping out with other famous people in the AI space, which I'll mention later. But you can see here, Sundar, current CEO of Google, has announced that DeepMind and the team at Google are combining together to form the units called Google DeepMind. And basically, in short, they're going to bring the smartest people to create the next level AI technology in the world. So right now, if you guys have no idea who's behind the team, you can see some of their names here. So now let's take a look at why DeepMind is such a big deal for the AI space. So here is one of their examples of how insane they were at already years behind before ChatGPT, before all this AI hype was around and they actually created a thing called Alpha Zero. So if you ever seen this, this was actually quite insane famous years back. This was actually in 2018. This essentially was an AI that was trained in chess, shogi, and go. And essentially it managed to defeat the top players and even some of the top softwares for these games, completely obliterating some of them. So let me just show you some of the background. So they actually released this back in late of 2017 called Alpha Zero. And basically there's multiple games. There's normal chess, if you're from the States, there's Shogi, which is the Japanese chess. And I'm 100% on the pronunciation. And then there's also Go. And basically it went ahead and beat the world champion for every option that they have. So let's actually look at some of the data on why this is so insane. And there's actually a famous uh, video documentary on YouTube. It's actually quite long. So if you want to check it out, definitely you can search this to see truly the background. So here we can see from their graphic alpha zero versus stockfish. And it's essentially quite level eventually once it got onto the same path, Shogi versus Elmo. And you can see that it actually went above the Elmo graph. And then there's Go. And this actually versed Alpha Go Zero, Alpha Go Lee, and then there's Alpha Zero. And you can see basically Alpha Zero first outperformed Stockfish in just four hours. And Stockfish is also a very intelligent chess program. And then we have Shogi. And also Alpha Zero first outperformed Elmo after two hours and in Go. And Alpha Zero outperformed the versions of Alpha Go and be the legendary. This is actually cool because these are some references to um, other AIs, but actually beating the legendary player, his name was Lee Sedol in 2016 after 30 hours. And for people who don't know chess or understand these board games, there's people out there, the top elite chess players, there's some on YouTube actually, they're pretty famous for uh, showcasing how intelligent they are. And basically it's almost impossible basically impossible for the normal person to defeat these top chess level players because they can think hundreds of moves ahead so let me show you actually this they have this cool uh, graph here so basically human grandmaster hundreds of moves alpha zero tens of thousands and then the state of our chess engines tens of millions and again if you played chess before you know how one wrong move early or even late game could easily lose you the match. And if you want to watch the documentary, you'll see how Alpha Zero did some crazy AI stuff that normal humans wouldn't actually think of. And basically everyone was shocked. Now you're probably watching this and like, okay, cool, whatever, chess, that's crazy, cool, what, no big deal, how does this relate to Google? Well, this is just one of the amazing feats that DeepMind's team has been able to create again years ago before the hype of ChatGPT. Now, let me show you another example. This was 2019 when this article they posted was released. And this is focusing on a video game called StarCraft. And this is the StarCraft second version. Now, if you've never played this game, 
then you might not really understand how insane this is. Basically, StarCraft is a game where you start off getting resources and then you have to build an army to defeat the other person's base. So it's almost like you have your own little mini, mini army, military, and then you go ahead and try to defeat the opponent. There's games like Age of Empires. There's other very similar games, even older ones. And in short, basically Alpha Stars, what they named it, is the first AI that they managed to reach the top leagues without any game restrictions. So again, this is very similar for uh, chess players. If you know chess, then you get the chess example, how smart the Alpha Zero was. Now, if you played video games, and especially these sort of strategic video games, then you'll get understand how insane Alpha Star is. And basically, it managed to beat and destroy some of the top players. And literally, I'll show you an actual video example of some of the things it did. It's comparing the thought process to humans of the top level StarCraft. And they're very similar to the top level chess players, where it's almost a game of chess, except it's in a video game that's completely different in terms of the rule case. And these are just showcasing some of the things that it managed to do. And basically these are all StarCraft related terminology like Protoss, Turin, and Zerg. And those essentially are the three types of uh, things you can choose between your characters. So you can start off with uh, Protoss, which is like a alien type uh, character. And then there's Turan, and that's like a more human-like. And then Zerg is like the alien stuff. And let me actually show you, in case you guys have like, what is what is this game? What, this makes no sense, right? So here's a video of the gameplay, and this actually have uh, examples of what's going on. So this is Protoss, basically. The opponent is uh, getting rushed, which that means that they're trying to gather resources to defeat the enemy, but instead, the red team managed to attack their base early on, which AKA means they weren't prepared, they caught them off guard, and hence, now, they will end up losing the game. And then it'll show an additional example showcasing it in another scenario. And you'll see how the AI actually manages to get out of this. So again, training progress. Again, this is visual of the actual game StarCraft. So for all the StarCraft players out there, you definitely can remember how hype this was. But basically now this time it actually managed to react to it and defend itself against this so-called threat. And then it showcases another example. And basically this is two Protoss character players and they're actually managing to, looks like in the green, defeat the early mid agent in blue. And this is the gameplay and how it works out. And this is all, again, AI, literally understanding a game and learning how to win, AKA the end result of the actual gameplay. So those are just two examples that I think that people can relate to in terms of deep mind and understand how insane their technology is. And let's go look at the official article regarding Google. So now, with those two examples, these again were years ago that they released this. Now we have combined all this information into Google. And there's also a bunch of other stuff which I'll show you that DeepMind does in case you have no relation to chess or video games. And then you can see why it's still a very big deal. But you can see Sundar, CEO of Google, and he actually wrote his little miniature you can see all of the information and basically this is just summarized they're just talking about the deep mind uh partnership and why this is a big deal but here we can actually see some additional things that the deep mind team has been working on on why i think this ai partnership is going to be significantly better for google in terms of their advancements and you can see here let's show you some stuff so one, they did some things with the Google Cloud solution. So that's cool, but it's not too impressive if you don't know anything about that. However, they did enhance the YouTube experience. So you guys are watching this right now on YouTube. So a lot of the stuff that you currently are experiencing, guess what? DeepMind did help out and fix some of the things such as viewers, creators, and advertisers. There's a lot of stuff you can actually look at the details regarding this. And not just stuff with that. They actually do things regarding proteins. So here, proteins are complex molecules and basically they managed to have some AI come in here and look at this, they accelerate their work. They created alpha fold, which can accurately predict the shape of proteins. And then they have this database with 200 million plus protein structures. And if this relates to something you're knowledgeable about, definitely you can see why that's cool as well. And then here, this one's actually very beneficial for eye diseases. So they actually managed to develop AI that can actually figure out what disease you have in your eye and then pretty much understand what's the best route for taking care of it. And then also 
saving energy. So that's another thing that uh, data centers takes up servers, AKA a lot of energy. And they said based off of this quick little update, they saved around 30% of the energy needed. So there is another one. And then also just general Google products. And there's some more stuff you can obviously go ahead and take a look at. But just an overview, this is an AI company back from 2010 that's been working on a lot of crazy projects. And you've already seen some of the examples they managed to do. So just imagine with all the new AI softwares out there, all the new ideas, combining DeepMind with Google AI is going to be insane. So definitely let's see what happens when they come out with some new products, but do share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you want to see the latest updates in the AI space, news, technology, like, and subscribe.